So uh, first I'm gonna make the creme flan. Beat the eggs, put in a container. Kids are up, but uh, they're still in bed and uh, talking, screaming, screaming with each other. You know, kids are like birds. Birds wake up. Well, I don't know if they sleep or not, but in the morning, you would hear them making all kinds of uh, singing sound. Quite nice. I think kids are the same. Unlike adults, we wake up and our minds are filled with all kinds of uh, things to do, worries. Kids are uh, like birds, get up and sing. So there's six eggs. I learned from my sister-in-law that one, every egg, you put one and a half egg of milk. So I, may, I, I save kind of an eggshell, looks like a cup. And um, I'm gonna pour one and a half of this uh, of milk and um, for every egg. That's how um, you keep a consistent um, texture. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. Half of uh, six is three more, right? One. Two, three. That's it. And now I'm just gonna add sugar. I don't, I don't really measure anything. Sugar, I just pour um, a certain amount in, and then I'm gonna stir it, and then taste. If it's sweet enough, then I stop. If it's not sweet enough, I add a bit more. That's uh, my way of cooking. I'm quite lazy to measure anything. So the secret to um, mixing the egg is keep this uh, egg beater here under submerged. Don't don't beat like how you do scramble egg because the air is going to come in, you have bubbles. So the, the secret is submerge it and then just kind of move around, wiggle um, until everything is uh, well mixed. And I crush it very gently. Even though I lift it up, but I'm not whipping it down. So I'm not really bringing a lot of air down. So. I just went to check the sugar syrup. What I did was I put some sugar inside a um, uh, baking pan and I put it in the oven and I broil to, uh, to make the sugar brown. And then when you pour this mixture over it, And the bottom is nice and golden brown when you cut uh, pieces to eat. Um, you'll see that the, the bottom of the creme flan is very brown and golden. So I'm just mixing it so that everything is mixed well. It becomes very creamy. So I want to 
but keep the egg beater submerged so that I don't add air into the mixture and when you bake it in slow heat slowly cook and when it's done you will notice that the consistency of the creme flan is quite smooth I think it's almost almost mixed well let me test if it's sweet enough mm, very yummy already a little bit more sugar I think for a for Asian people, we like our dessert a little bit less sweet. So, but still enough sweet so that you feel a satisfaction eating it. This is all manual. If you have a machine like a Kitchen A. Blender, you can turn into low, and it, it would go, it would do something like this. But um, I'm doing it manually because I don't have a machine, and also I want to keep it simple. I, I don't like washing things that I use, so I want to keep it to a minimum of things that I need to use for cooking. Let me see. Mm. It's pretty sweet. Just add a little bit more. Just a little bit more of sweet sugar. But you want to just test the just to test the sweetness of just kind of over the the, the mark that say just right but a little bit more sweet that kind that just a little bit over the line kids are quiet now I wonder what they do you know when kids are quiet especially when they are um, at a young age like one two three four you start to worry you should go check on them why they're so quiet because at that age they're usually moving talking but when they are 11 12 like mine when they're quiet you want to check on them too but more like check on them to see what they're doing and usually, you know what I find? I, I find them um, playing some kind of games on the iPad or phone or some electronic device. And I see them, but they don't see me. So later on, I would ask them, what you do upstairs? And hear what they actually tell you. And most of the time, they kind of being silly and say, oh, not too much. Mm -hmm. You just chill, kind of not lying, but not telling the truth either. So I find that very amusing and cute. Makes them uh, innocent and uh, pure than us. So while I was uh, mixing the, the batter, I put this, um, I put uh, just white sugar inside this, um, what is it, this thing called cake pan, and um, I put it in the oven, I, and then I, I turn it to the broil mode, B-R-O-I-L, for five minutes, and it's uh, melted and uh, golden brown. So now I'm go just gonna uh, pour the batter uh, in this, and I'm gonna bake it and um, I'm gonna pour the batter over a strainer 
like this. The reason is you want to um, keep all the egg whites and any debris uh, st uh, st uh, stay back because um, you want your ground flan to be as smooth as possible. And you kind of just um, shake it. Uh, and the, uh, the smooth liquid the uh, mixture will seep through the strainer. And the egg white, um, little slimy chunk will stay behind. And to help it seep through, I use a spoon to kind of uh, crush it. Press it. See, this is uh, all the egg white slimy things that's left over. I'm gonna save that because I'm also making I'm also making um, French toast, and French toast you use uh, egg and milk as well. No sugar, similar to this batter, and you kind of um, mix milk and egg together. And then you dip your egg in that mixture, and then you dip the slices of bread into the the mixture, and then you pan pan fry it. So I scrape that in a, in a, in the bowl. And save it for um, making um, French toast later. So in the kitchen, it's good to um, come up with your own recipe. Be creative. Um, cook a meal from uh, just sp spontaneous. Um, put together ingredients and also um, whatever you have you use it to the max and not waste that's what I like to do in, when I'm in the kitchen anywhere in the restaurant or anywhere I work that involves food if I can save it and make something else out of it I will nothing is going to waste until it's really become waste. There we are. See, I have... That's what I save. And that's what is uh, left on top of the strainer. This would um, give the creme flan um, texture when you... Uh, when after you bake it. So if this being out, the creme flan is uh, going to be quite smooth. So this is what I have. I'm going to bake it at 330 degree Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. And I will show you how it looks later.